in a remarkable archaeological breakthrough, a 3,300-year-old shipwreck has been discovered deep beneath the Mediterranean Sea, approximately 90 kilometers off the coast of northern Israel. This find, announced in June 2024, is hailed as the oldest known shipwreck in the eastern Mediterranean's deep waters, offering unprecedented insights into ancient maritime navigation and trade. The shipwreck was uncovered during a routine environmental survey conducted by Energian, a London-based natural gas company operating in the region. Utilizing an advanced submersible robot to scan the seafloor at a depth of 1.8 kilometers, the team observed an unusual accumulation of amphorae, ancient storage jars, on the ocean floor. Recognizing the potential significance of this find, Energian promptly notified the Israel Antiquities Authority, IAA. Upon examination, the IAA identified the cargo as late Bronze Age Canaanite storage vessels, dating the shipwreck to approximately 1400 to 1300 BCE. Jacob Sharvet, head of the IAA's marine unit, emphasized the discovery's importance, stating, this is both the first and the oldest ship found in the eastern Mediterranean deep sea, 90 kilometers from the nearest shore. This is a world-class, history-changing discovery. Prior to this discovery, scholars believed that ancient mariners primarily navigated by staying within sight of the coastline, moving cautiously from port to port. The location of this shipwreck, far from any landmass, challenges that assumption suggesting that these early sailors possessed advanced navigational skills, enabling them to traverse open waters using celestial bodies such as the sun and stars for guidance. Charvet noted, This find reveals to us as never before the ancient mariners' navigational skills, capable of traversing the Mediterranean Sea without a line of sight to any coast. The sunken vessel, estimated to be 12 to 14 meters in length, was transporting hundreds of amphorae at the time of its demise. These storage jars were commonly used to carry commodities such as oil, wine, and other agricultural products. The presence of such a substantial cargo indicates robust commercial connections between the Canaanite civilization and other regions along the Mediterranean coast during the Late Bronze Age. The exact cause of the ship's sinking remains unknown. However, Charvet speculates that it may have succumbed to a sudden crisis, such as a severe storm or a piracy attack, both plausible scenarios given the period's maritime conditions. The shipwreck's location at such a significant depth has contributed to its remarkable state of preservation. The cold, dark, and stable environment of the deep sea has shielded the site from human interference and natural disturbances like currents and waves, which often affect shallower wrecks. This preservation offers a unique snapshot of a moment frozen in time over three millennia ago. Recognizing the site's archaeological value, Energen collaborated closely with the IAA to conduct a meticulous investigation. The company's technicians devised a specialized operation employing a remotely operated vehicle, ROV, to carefully extract artifacts with minimal disruption to the site. Over two days, the team successfully retrieved two amphorae from different sections of the ship, ensuring the integrity of the remaining assemblage. This discovery stands alongside only two other known Late Bronze Age shipwrecks in the Mediterranean, the Cape Gelidonia and Uluburan wrecks, both located off the Turkish coast. Unlike the newly found shipwreck, these earlier discoveries were situated relatively close to shore and in shallower waters, making them accessible to divers. The deep-sea context of the current find not only sets it apart, but also provides a pristine archaeological context, undisturbed by human activity. The artifacts recovered from the shipwreck have been transported to the IAA's laboratories for conservation and study. Plans are underway to exhibit these Canaanite vessels at the National Campus for the Archaeology of Israel in Jerusalem, offering the public a glimpse into this extraordinary find. Eli Escusido, director of the IAA, emphasized the significance of sharing this discovery, stating, the important significance of these finds prompted a decision to exhibit these Canaanite vessels extracted from the seafloor and to thus tell the public the story of this boat.
The shipwreck's excavation and analysis are expected to yield valuable insights into Late Bronze Age maritime trade, ship construction, and the broader cultural interactions of the period. As research progresses, this find promises to deepen our understanding of ancient seafaring civilizations and their capabilities. The discovery of this 3,300-year-old shipwreck in the depths of the Mediterranean Sea marks a monumental milestone in nautical archaeology. It not only challenges previous assumptions about ancient maritime navigation, but also opens new avenues for understanding the complexities of early trade networks and cultural exchanges. Through the combined efforts of modern technology and interdisciplinary collaboration, we are granted a rare window into a distant past, preserved beneath the waves for millennia.